Hi, my name is Quinn Johnner. And I'm Simon Jasnick, and this is episode 157 of, f- what's it called? The Sit Down podcast. podcast. Let me try that again. Go, go, go. Sorry. Hey, my name is Quinn Johnner. And I'm Simon Jasnick, and this is episode 157 of the Sit Down Podcast. <laughs> Heck yeah, it. guys. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you guys so much for meeting us at the Capitol. This is actually the second time that we've had permission to use uh, the green room. So for those of you at home want to know what the green room at the Capitol looks like, this, this is this is it. It's a small room. Super no fancy. Windows. Yeah. Super warm in here, too. I love it. Right? Yeah, no doubt it. It's cold, cold room in the building. It's okay. cold as shit. I hate sarcasm. <laughs> so does my... Fiance. <laughs> oh, my yeah, wife. speaking my wife of, too, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to leave. Thank I, you guys. Thank I you. saw that. How was that for you? Did you get on one knee and do that? Oh, yeah. The I oh, saw yeah. a couple of them. So. Did, the whole, did the whole thing for sure. We had to had to keep it uh, semi-traditional. We like to do things our own way, but uh, I don't know. There's there's a respect that has to be paid to the process, and she's uh, she appreciates the traditional uh, kind of yeah process of, of that, and so do I, so... Down on one knee, we got some pictures captured of it, uh, the ring, the the dinner to follow, and the whole thing. So, Excellent. and uh, she did say I yes. So we're years. good. <laughs> yeah, it was oh. uh, it was nine. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it was nine, which might as well have been twelve. But That's okay. uh, it took me seven. So, it's all yeah, good. There, you there you go. Yeah. So yeah, it's been it's been great. We had a great weekend, and and, and here we are. I, did I see it right? Did, do you have a date too already? No, or? no, 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 none of that yet. No, it okay. was. Uh, I think we just posted the date that. Uh, that the proposal happened, oh, but uh, okay. nothing yet to follow. Lots in the works. Uh, yeah, so another lots nine to talk years, about, but maybe. <laughs> I mean, if I can help it, we're gonna we're gonna do a little before then, but uh, unlikely to be this year. So we'll we'll see. Right, right, right. <laughs> cool. um, so Mark and I, we were talking uh, prior to you guys arriving today, um, and for those of you at home, like there's not much content out there where people can like stream your guys's music performing. I do know you guys have like multiple projects on the go. But like for those of you, like Mark and I have seen Simon perform with Caitlin Laner here before and clearly Quinn at the open stages. We've seen these two guys um, take the stage together and it's it's freaking amazing, you guys. You guys are great. Oh, thank and you. and Thanks. you're like everything about it, the way you got you're clearly used to performing on stage and I think your voice is very unique, genuine, and I love it. I'm a big, big fan. Um, so I, we don't really have many places to direct you guys to hear them individually. So because of that is why we're doing this here. So throughout this episode, we're going to have these guys take the stage at the Capitol and we're going to have them, uh, performing some music. So you can see what we're seeing when we're hosting these open stages here at the Capitol. It's freaking magnificent. Someone like you to save me Life's too easy to be so damn common 
complicated. Take your time and I'll be waiting. Well, keep me in mind. Somewhere down the road, you might get lonely. you someday and the way I would lay and waste the day out the day with you we always go our separate ways but no one can love me baby the way I do well keep me in mind somewhere down the road you might get lonely Thank you. Absolutely, yeah, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Um, so, so the way I saw it last week when you were at the open stage, it was Simon and some other guy. Because <laughs> like, well, you, you were here. I, I showed up first and had to write yeah. somebody's name down, and there's only so much space. So. <laughs> and Jasnik takes up about 27 of the 26 alphabetical there's, letters. So. There's, there's a few letters there for sure, yeah. So wasn't, uh, yeah, the name written down wasn't necessarily a... Uh, accurate representation but it, it's funny actually because we're we, we don't even really have a thing like this is uh i mean we've played in a band together for a decade yeah. minus this year this this past year here but um yes yeah, so we've we've done lots together as uh the genre boys i guess but um this was kind of just like a hey let's go you know play some music at the open mic and just yeah. a few cover tunes to throw together for something to do so um, yeah, it's kind of funny. It's like, I don't even know what to put down and that's why there's nothing to find of, of this particular, uh, grouping or it's individually, right? Edition, uh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Special <laughs> of edition. Of the two of us. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exclusive, never before yeah. seen. This is the, you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was Simon and Quinn. And Quinn. I, I yeah. haven't heard of Question about, mark? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, yeah. you went on stage it's like, oh, okay. So yeah, sh too. Should have, should have been reversed to be honest. No, but. no, 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 no. <laughs> No, it's, it's, yeah, yeah it's, uh, like Simon said, we have played together for a long time, um, which I guess not in that kind of setting, uh, grew up playing in a band that, uh, I started with, well, not, I didn't start it, I guess, dad. I think we started all the same time. We all time. started at the same time playing for, um, my dad. And then that kind of grew into us learning to write songs together and and simon started his studio bees knees recording and uh it just kind of has escalated from there and then you know uh coming back i work 
out of the country a lot of the year. So coming back and having something to do, like getting together with Simon, playing a couple songs right here or there, or working on a little project at the studio. It's all coming on a podcast. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fun. It's yeah, I, good I stuff. saw I saw some of your social media pictures and like, where is this? That's yeah. definitely not Saskatchewan. No, no, no. It's uh, yeah. I work on a, I work on a cruise line, so it's it's not even anywhere. It's it's in the middle of the ocean, yep, right? International waters. <laughs> oh my god. Do you and have you ever had an opportunity to like grab a guitar and like do something on the cruise? Well, when I first started in uh, 2019, I think was the first time I went out there. I was a solo guitarist, so I've I've played more solo guitar sets than I care to count like right. it's it oh it's too much so i did that for a long time and then once i kind of grew out of that novelty i decided to try my luck at being on stage in a in a i don't even know what you call it what would you call that uh the performance cast the yeah uh, yeah i guess you could call it the the production cast production cast there you go, on yeah. the on the cruise ships and yeah i don't know they seem to like it so they uh they said yeah come on and learn some shows and we'll put you out there for so that's and, like and see the see. world, yeah, and see the world yeah, and yeah. travel. It's like the best of both worlds. You get to do what you love, yeah. and you get to see all these different places. Right. Like we were just in Europe for the past six months, and oh. we were just hanging out in Greece and Spain and France. And holy shit, man! Yeah, like it's 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 awesome. That no sucks. Doubt. <laughs> yeah, keep and talking there was a about heat that. Wave, yeah. <laughs> and there was a heat wave, and then I came back to the coldest months of Canada. Oh, oh man, which is why you're probably just antsy to get back oh, out there. Oh, I'm hey? antsy. I'm antsy. We, re- we do all <laughs> yeah. our rehearsals in, in Miami, Florida, so the weather down there this time of year is a little bit better than the weather here. Here, yeah. this no time doubt, of year, man. So how <laughs> how many years have you been doing that for? Well, I started in 2019. I think this is only actually coming up. For years worked would only be, this is my third year, right? Um, because the pandemic threw yeah. a wrench into the yeah. whole thing. Like I was yep. stuck out. Well, I don't want to say stuck, but for lack of a better word, they couldn't get us home for a couple months uh, during the pa- at the very start of the pandemic. Oh, so you're floating around. Somewhere. So we were floating around off the coast of Tampa, and we were. How yeah. many days were you in your room? Uh, we uh. Yeah, it was nineteen. It was nineteen consecutive days where they would bring us food to our door, and we weren't allowed to leave. Oh my rooms. god, that's torture, dude. Yeah, and <gasps> it was. Yeah, we've. I've done a lot of. I've done a lot of uh, soft or a hard quarantine, isolation, like <sighs> oh fourteen days at a time, eleven days at a time. Wow. Nineteen days the very first time, which that was because no one knew what quarantine was. Like, yeah. we were like, oh yeah, like yeah. I don't know, five days, like three days and they're like no 14 days we're like oh my gosh and then it got longer and longer (laughs) and longer it was yeah that's crazy and then i still decided to go back after all that (laughs) yeah no (laughs) couldn't wait in fact (laughs) hell yeah i bet you wrote a lot of music in those no i didn't i I stared out the window a lot (laughs) oh my god watched a lot of movies (laughs) nice nice and then so simon for you can you tell me, so I've only seen you perform, like I said, uh, at Open Stage here with yeah, Quinn. Yeah, for sure. Yep. But I did see you on stage with Caitlin Lehner at yes. her EP release yep. uh, party. Can you tell me how you and Caitlin, like how that ended up happening? Yeah, for sure. So I met Caitlin, uh, I think I met her actually start of the pandemic uh, online, as a lot of us did. Um, actually, even going further back than that, my dad is a uh, track and field coach okay um, uh, right. he's actually a, a super uh, amazing marathon runner um in his prime he actually held the saskatchewan marathon record for i think 22 years oh, oh shoot. um yeah like you see why i'm not following in his footsteps it's, uh <laughs> whew, yeah um but he loves everything to do with that he's he's also been a teacher his whole career um and coaching track and field on the on the side um mostly to do with like cross-country side of things or the long distance uh disciplines um, so he actually ran into Caitlin at a meet, uh, when he was coaching, I think at St. Joe's and, uh, Caitlin was, you know, university, but, um, they ended up talking about this, that, and the other thing. Oh, Caitlin's a musician. They, uh, you know, made the connection to, to me. And then my dad's like, yeah, I met this Caitlin, whatever. Like she's, uh, doing this music thing. She seems super cool. Like you, have you do you know her or anything? I'm like, no, whatever. So, um, but it, it didn't take long for Caitlin and I to meet at least online um and then i think we kind of talked it was probably a couple years given uh you know all of the pandemic and and everything that that uh entailed before we could actually meet in person um but i think from the time that we met in person 
to the time that she asked me to uh, join her in the band playing guitar was like maybe a couple months. I think we went out for a coffee, uh, you know, solved all the world's problems. And then uh, the second time we got together, <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, she's like, you play guitar, right? Yes, sort of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I just thought, what the heck, something new, you know, give it a shot and, and see what happens. I wasn't really looking for for anything at the time um but she seemed cool i know uh, a couple of the other guys in the group colin who works at the capitol here and uh adam Bidel i went to high school with oh. um yeah so it was great it was like i already kind of have an in so to speak right. i didn't know colt who is awesome as well um of course i know him you know really well now and he's the house drummer here which is that yep. other connection so it's cool but um yeah it's been it's been great playing with them caitlin's awesome she works so hard and she she really knows what she wants so um it's cool to to be supporting her on stage it's, yeah, yeah. she's great yeah oh hell yes yeah we had her on the show twice yes and, yes and yes like, i wouldn't i wouldn't i don't know i haven't seen her worth work ethic but it seems like she's working hard at what she does and I, very much yeah. so yeah. she's not one of those under the impression she knows what she's want what she wants yeah. and she's on point yeah, it's exactly. like yeah. like you know the expectation it's like i need yeah. this done i expect you to do it like that kind of For sure not yeah. anything malicious or rude it's just nope. like professional she's you know yeah. very much taking it seriously and, and and is very professional about it which is yeah it's great yep. to see so simmer down simmer down they say we're too young now to amount to anything else but look around we work too damn hard for this just to give it up now. If you don't swim, you'll drown. Don't move, honey. Hey, 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 hey. You look so perfect standing there in my American apparel underwear. And I know now that I'm so down. Your lipstick stain is a work of art. town's only here just to keep us down when i was out i found myself alone just thinking if i showed up with a plane ticket and a shiny diamond ring with your name on it would you run or run away to because all i really want is you you look so perfect standing there with my
Actually, so you own a recording studio. I do. Yeah. So that was kind of a, a slow, uh, it was one of those things where um, I feel really grateful where from the time that I uh, initially took an interest in recording, uh, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, my, you know, my initial uh, sort of light bulb moment was um, I got like a little USB microphone. Um, I think I was maybe 14, something like that. So this would have been 14 years ago. Um, and you're old. <laughs> yeah, show my age. <laughs> um, show my young age, my old age. Yeah, shh, it's fine. It's fine. Just let it be. Um, but at the time, I played classical guitar, so lots of just solo performing stuff. And I was like, you know what? I know I'm not going to stick with this for too long. Let me get a little microphone, practice recording those so that I can have a memory of this. And then one day, it was like the little plus in the corner of GarageBand, add another track. And it's like, oh my gosh, I can play to myself. But something else was kind of like, this is how music is made. This is amazing. Um, and that kind of, yeah, sparked this whole, I was going to say downward, but very much upward spiral <laughs> of excitement and, uh, you know, learning music and buying gear and doing the whole thing. Right. And it's been one of those things where, where gratefully I've never really, uh, it's been kind of a slow burn. I've never really had to deviate from it. Um, there's been lots of roadblocks and uh, challenges along the way for sure. But um, it's always been something that I've been able to, put as much effort in as I'm able to and I've been fortunate as well you know to have jobs along the way that allow me to kind of tip the scale with the full intent of having the studio be full-time one day which it's now been for three years oh nice um, congrats on that thank you that's yes yeah. that's amazing yeah um so the end of uh, 2019 I, f I finally quit my job uh, I used to work at bike doctor in sales there which was amazing love those guys love biking haven't been able to do it as much as I wanted uh the last couple of years here just with other things kind of taking my focus but uh yeah that was so amazing they were so supportive and just were fully open to whatever i needed to do to uh to be able to get where i am today is is what they helped me do so it was really cool to have that cool. speaking of which when are we going to go uh unicycling unicycling <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's so funny simon has a unicycle and he can and he can ride this unicycle and it's awesome and one christmas my parents bought me a unicycle and I learned just how to randomly ride. just, yeah, they were like, well, I'm sure it's something you can probably learn how to do. And kids good at a lot of things. Try this. <laughs> I, f I learned how to ride this unicycle. Not as good as Simon. Uh, but for the past, oh, I don't know. Like literally. Oh man. Probably most years, of the time. Yeah. Yeah. Eight or nine probably. years. We've been saying every summer, like, man, we got to go down to the river. We'll go unicycling. We'll have a down day river landing, river. Like, do some stuff. Like let's just never go. Happened. It's never happened. We've never done it. No. Well, what the hell are you guys? And the whole time. <laughs> Known each other. It's I forgot about that. That's so funny. I, that's, I was just Rolling thinking that. I'm just here. visualizing you yeah. guys on the stage yeah. playing the guitar on yeah. your unicycles. Yeah, we don't need just stools, <laughs> man. We I just... have tried that. Have you? Yeah. Oh it God. doesn't work that well. It's, no. it's <laughs> no, it's I am a, a nerdy guy enough to, to give it a shot, but I'll have to you know what? New <laughs> new summer uh, goals. I'm gonna practice how to uh how to play the guitar in the uni. That would be my goal. Oh, my God. <laughs> if, if and when you do that, please promise you'll come back and give us an exclusive on that oh, yeah. for on the show. Dude. Once. The podcast, get the yes. If I can here. get it performance ready, you guys will have the exclusive. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> we'll call it the Unicycle Podcast with only one episode. Yeah, there you go. I <laughs> guess. Hey, yeah. Fitting the, the Unipod. Hell oh, yeah. Dude, it would go Something. viral. It would be awesome. Yeah. So, we'll see. Qu question for you guys. Um, so, because there isn't like... A, a lot of music out there that we can find of, of the two of you playing together. W can you tell us a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing on stage here, like pretty quick? Yeah. Well, so I guess together, there's not a lot of uh, just the two of us, yeah, um, but a pretty good representation of what we've done in the past is uh, anything that's been released by the genre boys. That's been like a pretty heavy collaboration. Um, uh, I guess pretty much, all the other brothers, like Luke, yeah. Johnner, uh, Jesse on the first record. Yeah, um, yeah I, got, I got four other brothers. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, My dad's awesome. a musician, so and when Simon. he was having kids, and Simon, yeah, yeah, he's the sixth brother. Been mistaken for a brother uh, enough times that it, it, it probably well, counts by I, now. I mean, you've been, <laughs> nice. around, you've been around long enough, and his yeah, last name yeah. starts with J, so yeah. anything, it's like... Close enough. It's yeah. fitting. <laughs> Quinn yeah. J, Simon J, it's all yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all the same. Uh, but yeah, we have how many, how many albums... Oh, do we have of original uh, content? One, two, two. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> we got we got two albums. I think our first album that we released. I know this isn't the question you ask in particular, but just a little backstory, because there is music that we've done together. Right. Um, not in the capacity of just the two of us, but our first album was released in 2016. It's called Stories. Okay. And uh, our second album we did during COVID, and we released that uh, at the end of 2020. Uh, early 2021. Early 2021. It was called Two. Yeah, it was called released two. February of 2021. Were we those both? R- did you like do those both at the recording studio? Yes. What is yep. it? Yeah. Bees knees. Bees, Bees knees recording. Yeah. Bees knees. Where yeah. else would you do it? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just really? curious. It's, <laughs> Spelt I, I don't phonetically. B e z n e e z. Yeah. Sometimes you don't eat where you. Goofy little thing. Yeah. S h i t. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's no, but yeah, it was all done at Bees knees recording. Nice. I think the way that we kind of came about recording as well was uh just the whole collaborative process was really important to us like um not so much on the writing i know we kind of fell in eventually to writing uh quite a bit of stuff together but um just the ability to kind of you know come in and and just be friends first and not have to you know feel the need to watch the clock and we can really be creative and everybody can kind of push each other and help each other to come up with the coolest and hopefully most fitting part or sound or fill in the blank for, for the song and for what everybody needed. I think that's kind of where it came out of. Um, so it was cool to, to do it in that capacity. And again, from that perspective, especially on the first record, we just, we had, I think we took two and a half years to do it, which is way too long. Um, <laughs> none of us knew what we were doing. And that was really where we like cut our teeth on, okay, how do we write original music? And how do we come up with ideas that are good? And how do we kind of get our own egos out of the way? Cause I know there was a little bit of that early on. We've, you know, since been able to, to get past <laughs> that, but but that's a regular thing for every band, you know, it's, um, or every relationship, like communication yeah. is always so, so important, right? Yeah. So critical. Yeah. Well, you know, that joke yeah. that how many songwriters does it take to change a light bulb? How many? Doesn't matter. I'm not changing it. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, so it's kind of that, that <laughs> yeah. old, that old thing. Like, yeah. 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 yeah and it yeah. applies to everything. Like when you're writing the music to, to in the studio, like he was saying, yeah, we, you kind of have to push away everything like your ego, leave yeah. it at the door. And if you've come up with a, if you've spent all night on a guitar part and you're like, yeah, this is what it's going to be. And then you come in and they're like, that sucks. Then you, you can't be like, oh, like, oh, but I want to keep it. Cause right. you know, yeah. Cause I've been, all, I've been working on it all night. Yeah. 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 Well, that obviously no better song. than the, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. No it depends on where the songs are written out of too. I think if you write from personal experience, it's uh, more difficult to change lyrics or melody or things like that. Um, but I think with a lot of our stuff, at least this stuff, like on, let's say the second album, um, a lot of it was kind of written about like maybe a, a spark of inspiration, but how can we create a situation that's not real, that's exciting mm-hmm. and fun to sing about and tells a story that is completely removed. Let's be, you know, fictional about this, you know? So um, in doing that, I think it makes it easier to sort of weed out the, the garbage and, right. and come up with better ideas. And nobody's particularly precious about it because it's not, it's just a, this is a, a creative endeavor. It's yeah. not. Yeah. It's, it's not necessarily personal. a. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. No, that makes so a lot. Cool. That makes all the sense, for sure. Yeah. So then the <clears throat> the songs that you're going to be performing on stage here. Right. Yes. Not originals. We wish. Okay. We wish. Uh, I think the first tune is "Boys of Summer." Don Henley. Uh-huh. Wish we wrote that one. Yeah. Because. <laughs> You so be good. Here well, so much fun. We might be, but but yeah, we'd probably be living in like L.A. or somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the se- what's the second song called? Uh, we're gonna do uh, "She Looks So Perfect" or by um, Five Seconds of Summer, kind of little pop punk uh, tune. Yep. yep, that's a good and one. And then uh, the last one is just a uh, a Zach Brown band. Song. Oh, nice. Keep me in mind. Yeah, yep. which is a Hell good yeah. one. It's just an upbeat, good song that works really well with two guitars and a couple vocals so yeah well that was the whole point to this too like keep me in mind we've played together uh quite a few times with the band uh, in the past but um yeah the other two it's just like we didn't even i think it was just a few days before we came on that open stage a couple weeks ago that you know it was just like well let's just do something i don't know anything it doesn't have to be whatever um so we just kind of threw those together and it's it'd be nice to do some originals but it just uh yeah, it's funny. At this point, we're like, let's just play some music together. Oh, yeah, <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So it's uh, it's good. But I mean, that's the thing too. You know, for an open mic, um, I think it's nice. At least from from me, I really like seeing the kind of uh, up tempo, fun. Like, let's let's have a good time here. You know. Right. The um, vibe of the room. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I, I agree. For sure. That's it's it's especially it's so short. You know, there's um, I'm a sucker for a, a good sad song as well. You know, whiskey lullaby, for example, which actually we covered as well. 
Um, just plug. Dude. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Like natural yeah, I transition. Love, I love, I love, but you know, like, you know a song like that. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, okay. or you know, any of those. Fun. Like I'm, uh, yeah, like stories. The title name of our first album. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're Shift all great. Up, yeah, totally into all that. But um, yeah, it's nice to just kind of keep it up, up tempo and and light and happy and fun and positive for us too to to, to perform. Yeah. You know, it's it's just let's have a good time and uh, yeah, because we really haven't played. When was the last time we would have played together? couple years for sure yeah two, so that night years, at, at when you guys took the stage like a couple weeks ago that was like the first time that it was just the two of you in a couple years yeah you guys were just like ah, oh, let's just go up there and wait. well that was the first time it was just the two of us in 10 years ten holy years, shit yeah. you guys yeah you and the guys second time ever immediately immediately <laughs> got my attention was like oh, it was you. like that's one so of those what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> you know that's that's how i reacted to that and, and it, so i had oh, to get in funny. close Thank and i was you. like holy shit this is and it's gra- funny because simon because simon came in and he was like yeah I'll, I'll go on stage but i don't know who's coming that's what it sounded like. <laughs> oh. you, wrote your, you wrote your name down. And, oh. Yeah, the other guy is, I, I think he's coming. Yeah. I'm like, well, I had oh, to clarify. Okay. We kind of had a time slot that we were aiming for, but uh, I guess amazingly, it fills up so fast, which is yeah. so cool to see. Yeah, yeah that's the last awesome. couple of weeks last in time. a row. Great. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm, I hope that continues to be. I, yeah. I know they're not all going to be magical you well, know the what one I mean? week that but i saw so far, so good. it it filled up quite quickly but not like this like i think it yeah. was even pre seven o'clock i think it was filled up we ended up grabbing like the 11 o'clock slot so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were um, right there i was there i was there at seven yeah before. turned my back to to chat to somebody and lost another <laughs> yeah. 40 minutes so i was like i'm gonna grab <laughs> yeah. this yeah but uh <laughs> yeah i just had yeah. to make sure it was still gonna work but uh yeah but it's it's awesome to, to see it filling up like that so for anybody watching this, if you want to perform, definitely get here mm-hmm. as early as you can to claim that spot because yep. yep. it fills they up, which fill is up great. They fill up quick, yeah. First come, yep. first serve. That's yeah, right. very much so. So. Well, I don't yeah. want to uh, have any further ado. I want to get these boys on stage yeah. here. I want to I want to hear sure. some music, man. It's Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. open stage night tonight. Let's I want to kick happen, it yeah. off extra yeah. early with you guys. Perfect. And, Let's and do it. I, I want you, before we dive into that, I want to take this opportunity to just thank you guys again yes. oh, for, for coming for here. Happy to be here. Uh, yeah, thanks for asking us. So that we can do this. Um, and I want you to know that our this door is always open for you guys. If you ever have thank anything you. out there you want to promote, plug, talk about the album some more, just know you guys are... Which album was that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Stories and Two, our latest album. Right on. <laughs> just uh, But yeah, just let the audience know where they can find you guys, where they can follow you, all that kind of stuff, and we will have the links in the description to this video. Yeah, I think I'm most active on uh, Instagram, and I think my Instagram handle is literally just my name, uh, Quinn Johnner. Um, that's it. Facebook a little bit, but Instagram is mainly my... Yep, my drug of choice there. Yeah, Instagram is my main place as well. Uh, personally, at uh, Simon Jasnick, they'll have that posted. And then uh, the studio, if you're into following that side of things, is uh, Bees Knees Recording, spelt phonetically. So, but uh, yeah, you can you can check that out there. So, all the nerdy good uh, music <laughs> stuff happens there. <laughs> Sweet, right on. Um, well, thank you very much. We will see them later. Them. Yeah, we'll see you guys, and let's get you gentlemen up on stage. Yeah, cool. thank let's you do again. It. Thank, thank you guys. Thank for you. Appreciate us. it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Hell yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Nobody on the road, nobody on the beach. I feel it in the air. The summer's out of reach. Empty lake, empty streets. The sun goes down alone. I'm driving by your house, though I know you're not home. I can see you. Your brown skin shining in the sun. You've got your hair combed. Back in your sunglasses on, baby. I can tell you my love for you will still be strong after the boys of summer have gone. 
forget those nights I wonder if it was a dream Remember how I made you crazy Remember how I made you scream But I don't really understand What happened to our love But babe, I'm gonna get you back I'm gonna show you what I made of I can see you Your brown skin shining in the sun I see you walking real slow And you're smiling at everyone I can tell you my love for you Will still be strong After the boys of summer have